What is up YouTube? My name is Justin French, covering music for those who care, and today I have another album review to do. So, this one's a little weird. Um, so, many of you would know I'm into rock and metal most of the time. Uh, some pop, a little bit. Um, so, I know some of my friends are subscribed to this channel, and I know you're probably wondering why I would do why in a million years I'm doing this review. Honestly, I think the curiosity cat came out of me, honestly. So, uh, let me not waste any time into this album. This is uh, Younger Now by Miley Cyrus. This is her uh, fifth studio album, or no, sixth actually, sixth studio album. Um, her second, I believe, with uh, RCA Records. Um, yeah, um, so, I'm not much of a fan of Miley Cyrus, honestly. Maybe a couple songs, but other than that, I wasn't really a big fan of bangers. Uh, Miley Cyrus and her dead pets was tremendously garbage. Oh my... Oh. Um, but this one's a little weird, honestly. Um, if I had one word to describe this album, it's kind of risky, honestly, because this is more of a country pop album. Country or pop album, country and pop, whatever you want to call it, country pop, honestly, coming from the direction of her previous two albums to this, it's kind of weird. Um, so during the course of this album, Miley is sober, she's not doing marijuana anymore, I'm guessing drinking's out of it too, and she became uh, re-engaged with uh, Liam Hemsworth, who was her fiance, they broke up. And then they got re-engaged uh, last year. Um, and the theme of love is pretty much all over this album, honestly. Uh, so let me dive into some of the tracks. Uh, the first taste we got of this album was the track Malibu, uh, which uh, is kind of her love song to uh, Liam Hemsworth. And this is actually a pretty good track, honestly. I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, I really like the guitar line that flows throughout the track. Uh, Miley's vocals, and I like the lyrics to it. I think they're pretty beautiful. Uh, the lyrics to this, tr or uh, vocals to this track are actually not that bad, honestly. Coming from her previous two albums. But I really enjoyed the track. So. Um, and then we got uh, Younger Now, which was released as the second single. Uh, and there's one line in there... Uh, in there, I think this is before the chorus, she goes, I'm not afraid of who I used to be, which is kind of throwing back to uh, the past couple of albums she's released. Um, so that was a pretty good tie-in, I guess. Just kind of, you know, I think this track is kind of talking about how she's having a better outlook on life now that she's sober. And yeah, it's pretty good. Lyrically, I really like the lyrics to it too. Um, and uh, Dolly Parton has a guest appearance on this album, uh, on the track Rainbow Land, which is kind of this bluegrass-tinged uh, country song, which is, I feel like, a political statement around uh, us. Uh, for those of you who don't, who didn't know, uh, Miley Cyrus got some uh, news feed for, uh, she recordedly uh, posted a video of her crying after uh, Hillary lost the election. And I feel this is kind of a statement uh, of, you know, what this world would be if Hillary would have won the election than Trump, honestly. So, uh, yeah, uh, this album does throw back some of the pop rock element into this album uh, with tracks like uh, Thinkin' and um, Love Yourself, Love Your or Love Someone, sorry. Love, your, love Someone uh, is probably my favorite track off of this album. It definitely has that kind of snarky, uh, sarcastic kind of uh, pop rock feel to it. So that's probably why it's my favorite. And I really like the lyrics. Miley, as much as Miley refrains from uh, profanity off this album, there is a bunch of uh, the word shit on there. So, um, and a couple tracks. I think uh, Week Without You is one of them. Uh, Love Someone's definitely one of those uh, in the chorus line. But I really like that track. Um, 
thinking. I really like the chorus to that, especially when she's like repeating the words. I've been thinking, thinking, thinking way too much, much, much. You know, it definitely has that kind of feel to it. Um, Miss You So Much is kind of a weird track. Um, this is kind of talking about, um, I don't know, maybe a grandparent or someone talking about uh, how can I miss you so much when you're still right here. So, I mean, it's the lyric is kind of, honestly, it scratched my head a couple times whenever I was listening to it the first time. Um, and I can kind of understand it now. Maybe it might be like a long distance kind of thing. But, um, or kind of looking at, you know, what if this person, how long does this person kind of have to live? So, um, the least, my least favorite track off this album probably has to be I Would Die For You. There's nothing really much to it, honestly. And it's a pretty short, it's probably the shortest song off this album. So there wasn't really, it's pretty filler, honestly. Um, and the closing track off this album is, uh, Inspired, uh, this track was, I guess, inspired <laughs> um, by the uh, Manchester, or it could have been written by before then, and she just released it. But uh, she kind of dedicated this song to the uh, victims of the Manchester uh, Manchester victims. So um, I feel like I'm missing a track. Um, I think I pretty much covered them all, honestly. Yeah, I pretty much got them all. Alright, so uh, my thoughts off of this album. Uh, what, is it better than anything Miley Cyrus has released? I think, actually, as an album as a whole, I kind of actually enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a pretty damn fun album to listen to. Uh, it's better than her past stuff, especially Bangers and After Bangers and Dead Pets. This is sonically way... that. Now, this album blows those two albums out of the wind. Uh, would I recommend this album? Um, if you're a diehard Miley Cyrus fan, I would recommend it. Uh, if you're a Miley Cyrus fan of Bangers and Dead Pets, uh, this album is either going to take some time to get used to, or you're probably not going to end up liking this album. Me, I personally didn't think it was a bad album. Basically, better than anything she's released off the past two albums. So, uh, my rating for this album is a 7 out of 10. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and uh, hope to see you soon.